In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert the long URL of your Google Drive files into the short URL automatically and to automate this URL shortening process, I'm going to integrate my Google Drive application with Bitly. Bitly is an amazing URL shortening application. So what will happen every time I will upload a file into my Google Drive folder, the link of that file will be automatically shortened up using Bitly software and the long URL as well as the shortened URL will be added automatically into our spreadsheet in this way and to automate this process I'll have to integrate these three application and I'm going to do that with the Pabli Connect which is an amazing integration and automation software I am already an existing user of Pabli Connect so here you can see I have already logged in into the dashboard you can also create your free account in just two minutes where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test such kinds of amazing automation. Now, after reaching out to the dashboard, firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation. So I'm going to provide the name something like whenever the file is uploaded in Google Drive, automatically shorten the long URL via Bitly, okay? You can provide any random name. Now click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you. So these are actually trigger and action. So here trigger means when this happens, action means do this. Whenever this happens, automatically do this. Understand with an example also. Let's say whenever a sale happen in your payment gateway application, then automatically send an email via Gmail application. Okay. Well, according to our use case, whenever any file is uploaded, in your Google Drive folder, in your Google Drive application, then automatically shorten the URL of those files via Bitly application, okay? So this is how you need to always select the application in this trigger and action window as per your case. Let me correct the spelling, okay? And according to our use case, in the trigger application, I am going to search for the Google Drive application and I will connect the Bitly application with the Pabli Connect later, alright? So moving further, firstly, I'm going to search I'm going to select a trigger event so I want that whenever any new file is uploaded into the specific Google Drive folder the details of the file should be captured via Pabli Connect so that is why I have selected this particular trigger event specifically now I am going to connect to my Google Drive with the Pabli Connect for that you'll have to click on this connect then click on add new connection click on the sign in in with Google and provide the access of your Google Drive application well I am already logged in into my Google Drive file into my Google Drive application so that is why I have simply selected my account and it is asking me for the access so I have provided the permission and here you can see the authorization is successful and Google Drive is connected with the Pabli Connect and since we are connected whatever the folders and subfolders are available inside my Google Drive have started visible here these are the same folders basically folders of my google drive and i have created the folder with the name all latest files and designs so i am going to search for the very same folder well it is actually available at the top only okay so now i will click on this button but you will see this time a blank response will be received because currently i do not have any data inside this particular folder so i am going to upload a random file in front of you and and then I will click on this save and send test request and you will see how the details of this file which I'm about to upload will captured via Pabli Connect alright so the uploading is already started and it is now done coming back to my Pabli Connect dashboard and once the file is uploaded since we are connected I will be clicking on this button and you will see how the details of this particular file here you can see the file name is blog on digital marketing the file details will be captured via Pabli Connect. So firstly, I will show you the file name. Here you can see the title, Blog on Digital Marketing. It is the very same file, all right? Here you can see the link of that file, which I will open in front of you. And since I am opening this particular URL into the same tab, so that is why it is getting downloaded very easily. But if I will open this URL into some different tab, you will see this file won't be getting 
getting downloaded okay i will show this in front of you okay here you can see it is giving me an error of 403 why it is giving me an error because the permission it doesn't have any permission okay so in order to provide the permission i will have to change the access of this particular folder okay so firstly i will click on the share button and currently it is restricted i will change the permission from restricted to anyone with the link and then i will click on done and then i am going to open the same url into again a different tab and this time you will see this file will be easily downloadable and here you can see into the different tab also this file is downloadable okay coming back to my pabli connects dashboard and this is how we have captured the data of the file and this was the downloadable file and if i will take you further at the last of this particular response you will find the view link also okay which i am going to share to different application okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our google drive and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay now i am going to send this particular link to bitly software via which i am going to shorten this long url okay so let me search for the same software that is bitly and just like i have connected my google drive with pabli connect i am also going to connect this bitly with the pabli connect okay since i want to shorten the link so that is why i am specifically selecting this action event okay click on connect then click on add new connection click on connect with the bitly and again since i am already logged in into my bitly application so it is directly asking me for the permission i have clicked on allow authorization is successful and again bitly is also connected successfully with the pabli connect okay the first thing it is asking for the group well i just have a single group only inside my bitly application so i am going to select the same that is pabli and now it is asking for the long url which you would like to shorten okay so i am not going to manually copy this url and paste it here basically i am going to map this url so that whenever the new file url will appear here that new file url will automatically come here and it will automatically shorten up okay so how i am going to perform the mapping simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data the above response here in the drop down now you just need to select your data your value and this is how that value will be mapped okay so mapping plays a significant role in this automation whatever the details you will map here will replace automatically when this automation will work in real time okay just in case if i will provide any data here manually this data will remain same okay so mapping plays a major role inside this automation and with the help of mapping only this automation is going to work in real time okay i will be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how a shorten url will be provided by this pabli connect into this response here you can see we have the bitly link if i will open this link you will see how the same file will be open up with the shorter url here you can see it is the same file okay let me close this file coming back to pabli connect now i am going to collect i am going to add this long url as well as the short url into my spreadsheet for that i'll have to connect my google sheet with the pabli connect so again click on this plus icon and then search for the google sheets application here after searching for the google sheets you'll have to select a, an action event okay so since i want to add a new row first and in that row i am going to add the data so that is why i have selected this particular action event okay you'll have to click on this new connection and then sign in with google i have already connected my account with pabli connect so i am going with the existing connections and this is how my google sheets application my google sheets account will be connected with the pabli connect okay and uh, since we are connected again whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my google sheet account my spreadsheet account have started visible here okay and the most recent sheet i have created was all google drive files link short url okay so that is why the same file link the same sheet link is available at the top okay which has got selected automatically the sheet is also selected automatically i just have a single sheet here all right and now finally it is asking for the long url of google drive file and the short url of google drive file so these are the same two columns which i have created into my spreadsheet
sheet okay these are the same column as soon as i will provide the data here and click on this button you will see that data will be automatically added to my spreadsheet okay asking for the long url so again i am going to map this data from the above response and remember we have received this long url at the end of this particular response basically it was the view link i am going to map so this is the alternate link basically that long file url asking for the short url so i am going to map the short url from this bitly response okay so here you can see we have received several data and i will be mapping this short bitly link okay clicking on this button and this is how the data of that long url and the short url will be added to pably connect here you can see the response is received and both the urls the long as well as the short has been added to our spreadsheet as well so this is how you can automate the process of converting the long url of your google drive files into the short url automatically with the help of this automation software pably connect and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pably connect just once you do not have to do anything manually again and again once this automation is ready inside this pably connect dashboard so what will happen every time Time, a new file will be uploaded here the link will be shortened up automatically and the long url and short url will be also added here automatically let me show you how this automation is going to work in the real time so again i will be uploading a new file in front of you this time i am uploading this course completion file into my google drive folder and the file has been uploaded successfully i will have to wait for that long url as well as, as well as the short url inside this spreadsheet and let me tell you a very important thing the trigger of our google drive file is actually a polling based which is going to capture the data of google drive in every 10 minutes so the data will not be added up in real time you will have to wait for the results for at least 10 minutes and after this 10 minutes you will definitely get your results you will definitely get the long url as well as short url inside your spreadsheet automatically without doing anything manually and after waiting for the 10 minutes here you can see i have the long as well as the short url inside my spreadsheet and this is the same file name that is course completion certificate so this is how now onwards every time the file is uploaded the links will be shortened up automatically with the help of automation software pably connect not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video